out. I see. Nice. think about Wakaba on the anniversary of her death, but it's been a while since I visited. I've been so busy with the shop and all. No, no, that's not it. The guilt is what kept me from coming. I thought Wakaba would be angry with me. But now that I managed to get Futaba over here, I can finally meet her with my head held high. I sure kept her waiting, but it felt good to tell her about how much Futaba's improved lately. Oh, I told her about you, too. Idiot. I should be the one thanking you. This is the first time the four of us are all together. So, Jiro, what are you smirking for? Uh, this is what my real smile looks like. I approve. Whew. Oh, I have some news. The family court gave me a call the other day. Futaba's uncle decided to retract his report. It was because of you, wasn't it? I wonder if the day will come that she goes out to be someone's bride. I'm sure she'll make a fine lady either way. After all, she is Wakaba's daughter. All fathers have to go through this anxiety? You know, I really just wanted to have you help out at the store. But you showed me so much more. You showed me I have a family I need to protect. Not just Futaba. But you, too. I may not always be reliable. But feel free to come to me if anything happens. I'll be there for you, as family. And, uh, uh, I know. I'll teach you everything I can. You're a full-fledged man now. That might not be enough to return the favor, but it's all I can do. to a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the Hierophant, granting thee infinite power.
Oh, and, uh, could you not, uh, you know, get with Futaba? I can't imagine you calling me father. Although, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. What are you two talking about? Nothing. I hunger! Curry time! Yeah, yeah. Let's go home. Do you know the answer? This is it. Very good.
How can I help you?
Ah, you're back. Next time, then. Too bad. Made a decision? I 
was waiting.
You've got guts. enough.
We didn't experience any of the wonders of space, but at least the taste was passable. You seemed much more excited by the toy than the taste anyway. Sh shut up! I saw you eating around those pickle things or whatever they are, Justine. Th that wasn't food from this Earth. It was clearly a... Uh, Alien spawn of some sort. What? Is this true? Hey, is it true or not? I ate all of mine, you know. They actually tasted rather good. Calm down, Caroline. We're getting off track. rate. We've determined that hamburgers are incapable of conveying the majesty of space. While the toy spaceship helped to soften the blow, there's no denying the truth. Now we will formally acknowledge the completion of your task. Here is your reward. Next time, we know about all sorts of locations that would aid your rehabilitation. I'm still taken aback by the truth. Your world is absolutely full of these shop places. For a reasonable fee, nearly every desire can be fulfilled, all as if it were nothing. That does sound interesting. I believe it may merit further research. Anyways, good work, inmate. Your final task for the day is to escort us back to the Velvet Room. Let's move! Yo.
Okay, quiet down. Thank <laughs> you. 